It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a can from Wild Craft Brewing based in Norwich. And this is their Wild Vienna Lager. Here's a little alien type thing holding a sign saying it means nothing to me. Uh, next to the Wild Vienna Lager sign. It's 4.5% ABV coming in a 440 milliliter can. Not had anything from this brewery before. I want to say a massive thank you to our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, for sending us today's beer. Beers of Europe, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. Oh, we just got some beer on the screen. Can you see? That's going to make a right mess, isn't it? Oh, there we are. It's not too bad. So Vienna Lager, I've decided to use my lovely Budvar glass here for this one. I'm a massive fan of this beer style. I'm really kind of hoping and praying that they got this right because if they've got this right, we're in for a real treat. Vienna Lager is probably if not one of my favorite lager styles. Um, I love the maltiness, the breadiness, the biscuitiness coming through with, the, with that lovely Vienna malt that they use. Good levels of carbonation. I, looking through the glass, actually it looks quite clear. One finger head. Let's get the aroma then. Whoa, that smells interesting. Oh, it smells beautiful. All that wonderful Vienna malt, that biscuity, bready Vienna malt coming through. Really nutty, biscuity. But you definitely get a sense of that lager as well. You definitely get a sense of that beautiful, crispiness, great drinkability. Or well, you can tell there's going to be great drinkability because how crispy the aroma is coming through is spicy and peppery. The nice clean aroma with that kind of bready biscuity malt. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Blooming good. Oh. Gotta put that down. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a fabulous beer we've got here. Holding the beer in your mouth just to get some more of that flavour. Kind of just holding it there, letting your taste buds do its job. You can feel the beer hissing and fizzing and pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. First of all, you get this wonderful biscuity breadiness. It really is a doughy brown bread dough with nuts in it. Like a like a if you went to like an artisan bakery. And you went for, for a really expensive nutty loaf and you said, oh, you know, can you slice it medium for me? And you can really kind of, well, especially when they're baking it, you know, a real sense of that kind of real bready biscuiting that's coming through. I, I was down in West Wales in the summer. Uh, we, we stay near Kilgetty uh, when we go on holiday near Tenby. And they have this little break bakery. Basically, it's just a little door. It's just a little hatch, should I say. And this, this bakery's been there for 110 years. And you can see that they've still got all the old cast iron machinery going on, all the old cast iron ovens. But the smell when you pass this place in the mornings. How I found it, it's next to a petrol station. And I was buying some petrol. 
and I was putting petrol in the car thinking what's that wonderful smell and I looked over next to the builders merchants it's not a very picturesque type place but next to this builders merchants you just people queuing up for this hat at this hatch and I thought I'm gonna go and take a look in there so just met with this wonderful bready biscuitiness and that's what's coming through with this beer really it's it's just a wonderful wonderful sense that Vienna malt really is is the the class act here oh it's fantastic fantastic the balance as well Let's talk about the lager part of this beer a little bit, where, yes, it's nicely carbonated, but you're picking up a little bit of lemon, a little bit of spice and pepperiness on the back end. And the drinkability is so good. The drinkability. So you're thinking you've got all of that wonderful malt, but then it's so crisp and clean at the same time. The other thing I want to talk about is balance. So you've got all of the sweet malt over here, that lovely bready biscuitiness, and then you've got the spicy and peppery and bitterness on the back end. So it's a lovely balanced beer. The balance is incredible, absolutely incredible. Really is a lovely, <coughs> pardon me, balance of the beer, which is very important. I think if you can be a, or, or just think in the lines of more of a traditionalist, a traditionalist beer drinker if you ask them what's important to them they'll say balance straight away they'll say they love the balance between the sweetness of a beer and the bitterness of the beer it's a bit like sweet and sour working when you order some chicken balls from the Chinese takeaway it works I could drink can after can of this I really could. It's such a good beer. On my travels, found this Vienna malt, brought it back, made a brew. Bursting with Vienna malt and noble hops, with flavour, depth and aroma. That probably means this is the best lager on the globe. It means nothing to me. Oh, Vienna. Ah, right, okay. Right. It's Alton John, isn't it? Is it Alton? Did Alton John sing there? It looks like Alton John anyway, that little alien thing. I got it, it means nothing to me. Vienna, oh Vienna, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, ingredients, barley, wheat, yeast, hops and water. Uh, they're based in Norwich, as I mentioned. Coltishall Road in Norwich. Rating. Wild Craft Brewing. I think I may have had one or the two of their beers in the past, but not for a while. I like it, I think it's a fantastic Vienna Lager, it's a 9 out of 10 for me. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!